This is a demonstration for Sherlock Holmes, A Study in Scarlet. We have a script on the left hand side which is in PDF format. We will be taking the role of Watson while we're rehearsing this scene. We'll be using the stage role software to help us through the scene with pre-recorded events from other actors. The software will recognise when I've spoken my lines and continue the play. Take the role of Watson. Taking role of Watson. That's the software responding to me. It's now going to wait for the lines from Watson to be performed. And let's just see how this pans out. Begin the play. Watson? Stamford. Dr. John H. Watson. Well, I never. Alistair Stamford, the finest dresser of St. Bart's. How wonderful to see you. <laughs> the sight of a friendly face in the great wilderness of London is a pleasant thing indeed to a lonely man. Whatever have you been doing with yourself, Watson? You're as thin as a rake and as brown as a nut. That's what fighting a war in Afghanistan does to oneself, in addition to a shattered shoulder. But I'm fine. Except for solving the problem as to whether it is possible to get comfortable rooms at a reasonable price. Now that's a strange thing. You are the second man today that has used that expression to me. Hmm. And who was the first? Oh, a fellow who is working up at the chemical laboratory up at the hospital. He was bemoaning himself this morning because he could not get someone to go halves with him in some nice rooms which he'd found and which were too much for his purse. Ay, Jove. If he really wants someone to share the rooms and the expense, I'm the very man for him. I should prefer having a partner to being alone. You don't know Sherlock Holmes yet. Why? What is there against him? Oh, I, I, I didn't say there was anything against him. He's, he's, he's a little queer in his ideas. An enthusiast in some branches of science. As far as I know, he's a decent fellow enough. A medical student, I suppose. No, I have no idea what he intends to go in for. His studies are very desultory and eccentric, but he has amassed a lot of out-of-the-way knowledge which would astonish his professors. Did you ever ask him what he was going in for? No, he's not a man that is easy to draw out. I should like to meet him. If I'm to lodge with anyone, I should prefer a man of studious and quiet habits. I am not strong enough yet to stand much noise or excitement. I had enough of both in Afghanistan to last me for the remainder of my natural existence. How could I meet this friend of yours? He is sure to be at the laboratory. He either avoids the place for weeks or else he works there from morning to night. If you like, we'll drive around together after luncheon. Certainly. I shall not mind visiting my alma mater. <laughs> 